Hi guys, today I'm at the NEC and I'm going to be looking at some fab bikes hopefully. So uh, if you want to see some Ducatis and Yamaha, some Hondas and the good shit like that, then stay tuned and uh, see what we've got for you. Anyway, let's get in there and uh, see what they've got. On the uh, Goodson stand. These look really, actually they look really good. Custom special. I mean, it's an old design, but it kind of works. Italian. This is the Grizo Grizio 2000 Vizor 2000 SE in quite an unusual colour. It's like a dull copper gold, copper bronze, or V twin. Like something out of the 50s. <laughs> Amazing. Jesus. Dashboard, the speed on the get bigger and bigger. Stand. Grandfather of all the easy riders, etc., etc., cruisers. Not everyone's a cup of fish, I know, but uh, you've got to admire what they've done in terms of having a product which is intrinsically still set back in the 40s. Which is selling as well as it sells now. Um, and they're still fracking on to the £20,000 mark. The Road King. This is probably one of the more famous of the Harley Davidson is the name in terms of Road King. That and the Fat Boy are probably the two names that most people will relate to. Some people will be interested to know that although I'm criticising the Harley Davidson product a little bit, it is a position of knowledge because I used to work for Harley Davidson for two, two and a half years at Harley Davidson UK, so I do kind of know how they've managed to exist upon a name and quite an outdated, outdated mechanical process. But fair play to them. got the, uh, the one, Fat Boy. People say, they asked why the name was actually brought around and it's rumoured to be because it was the bomb that was dropped on Japan, which was named Fat Boy to end the Second World War. And also a slap in the face for the Japanese motorcycles. And to say, look, we're American, we won, we bombed you. And by the way, we're gonna name our motorcycle Fat Boy. A really rubby face in the dirt with your Japanese rice rockets. And here we have the, the sports there, and this one is the, the 48 version, which actually is quite nice. I do like this one, single seat unit. 1200cc engine, so it 
does everything he says. If I was going to buy a Harley, I'd probably buy this one. Here we've got engine motorcycles. Which I think, if you're into this type of motorcycle, is um, pretty awesome. I think it'll give, give Harley a run for its money any day, any day of the week. now got a really good selection of motorcycles. I also believe the engine is an older brand than uh, Harley Davidson. It's been going longer. You certainly get your, your laid back cruising with these bad boys. Look at this one here. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, that's making a style statement. This is a victory. Let's have a look. I'm not even sure which victory this one is, to be quite honest with you. I'm not really up with this. Uh, but it's certainly... Uh, Six square inches engine. Another one. Really tricked up this one is in white. As you can see with those wheels flying, with those wheels something else. And they've probably got brakes on. Work. And the orange one I, I filmed previously is the Cross Country. I've been reliably informed. So you build some music with this one. Fancy, uh, that's too white for you. Any fancy black one? Well, there you go, sir. A sniff at something like. 18 grand. Nice metal flake gold. It's certainly popping that flake. And here we have, this is unusual, it's the slingshot. Which I guess that's well, Polaris, which is owned Victory, which own, which own, who own Victory. So this is certainly something else, isn't it? That is an awesome piece of kit. Wow! There's your rear driving wheel. This is a sunshine. Certainly a radical piece of kit. We're not even sure whether it's in production or not. I'm guessing it is. We also cut hole as well. There's the engine. Um, awesome, the fuel injected. Ecotech Ford. You know. And here we go, Royal Enfield. All you bullet boys. So there's more than just bullets, but this is the classic brand that just refuses to die. Not that we want it to die, of course we don't. But um, it's one of those ones that just keeps going and going. And here we have. Yeah, you guessed it, a tricked up Enfield. Little hot rodder. Different. Paint looks really fine. I guess it's an acquired 
taste that one. This one's quite interesting, probably one of the nicest Enfields I've seen on the stand. Harking back to the late 50s, early 60s. It's quite, quite nice. Yeah, it's different, very different. And here we got the Stealth Enfield. In case you're embarrassed about what you bought, you want to be, well, stealthy, I guess, camouflaged. No, you can't see me, I'm not really riding this bike. Uh, I'm only taking a pee. It's uh, each to their own, I guess. So it's been a great day at the uh, bike show. I've really enjoyed it and I hope you have too. Um, we've tried to take in as many bikes as we can within the time scale, but obviously bearing in mind that uh, there are a lot of bikes to see. I don't want to bike, bore you guys to, to tears by, by showing too many. I've tried to get as many as I can without going mad. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. If not, don't. I don't care. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.